Oh, Finny. They're taking away your crabs. That thing is cool. Holy shit, that's fast. Oh, now you woke up. I'm sorry. Just keep sleeping. Oh, it's nice and warm there. And I, sorry, turning to the light, want to show you our progress. It looks really cool. We are not done yet and it looks a bit different on camera. It's actually a bit weird on camera, but yeah, this is the progress and I love it. It doesn't look 3D printed anymore. So there are three parts right now. Actually four, technically. but. This one goes over here and um, yeah, there we go. So what's missing right now is the wraps, obviously. I've done the pants, I've done the shirt, the bag. I still need to do the belt. Those are outside right now, the boots are done. Uh, I need to do this and uh, then we're done. Yeah, it's still some stuff to do, but uh, we'll get there. Poor Finn. No more grass. That's a tiny bit. I'll take that later. <laughs> so, I'm walking towards the city center. Actually, towards the church. My mom is there right now. They're having some sort of meeting. Not sure what. I'll get the car and then I have my tabards or the wrap, whatever you want to call it for my costume in there. I need to go to my dad, wash it there. Yeah, it's it's complicated. <laughs> and then I need to do some shopping and it's already late. So I have to hurry. <laughs> I got like 45 minutes to actually get to the shops. Ah, that's a challenge. See, on one hand, I'm happy that we don't have a car, which saves us a lot of money. But on the other hand, if you need it, it's always like, um, is the car free right now? Um, could you pick me up or can I walk where you are? <laughs> it's always like, it's good exercise though, because I don't actually have the time to go to the gym. I could make the time, obviously, but I'll get my exercise like this right now. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited how well the costumes are coming along and super excited. I don't know if I showed it yesterday, but the hole punch things arrived already like two weeks before I actually expected them or like even six weeks, <laughs> you know? You never know when that stuff arrives and it was predicted for, I think, end of May. So, yeah. Sweet. My mom is funny, she just gave me the key and didn't tell me where the car is. Well, there are not many spots. I assume she parked in the church area. So somewhere over there. Well, it's gonna be interesting. And apparently we are making noise now. There's one thing missing. I didn't have this. And I got lucky. I got two. And this apparently is to walk two ducks. And guess how much it was? Well, it's kind of like, we'll forget to tell you, but you can make an assumption. Post it in the comments below. Normally, I can tell you I would pay 9 euros or something for one of those. It's ridiculous. That's why I didn't go back to the Baumike, the home improvement store. I found this um, at the dollar store, which is a euro store, I guess. And it cost me 2 euros both of them like together this is one they did have uh, bigger ones and other ones but none had actually two identical ones on them and I wanted to give up and buy a bigger and a smaller one and then I found this and the other ones were all like five euros and this is two euros and it's it's just this is so lucky and I love it sometimes yes also really cool my dad just gave me those so that's perfect for the arms, for the wraps. I hope. I have to try it. I have to color, aka dye them, but besides that, pretty cool. He also finished my lightsaber. One second. I mean, this is still a plastic toy and everything, but at least I'll get into conventions and he added the screws. Wait, so it's focusing. It's not, it's not a picture. There you go. See, the screws down there. Two of them he had some struggles with because reasons, but yeah, 
This is awesome. Yay! I don't think I'm gonna do much to it because I don't have the time. Plus, it's just like just for cosplay and picture, blah blah. Later on, I will have a real one. Like, not real, real, obviously, but you know what I mean. Oh, that was awkward. Last week I went to the place where we were golfing or wanted to go golfing. Here's the footage. So I guess not much luck here. I'm wondering what's the reason. There's something written. Four, but that's not all. I guess we were the last ones to play here. That sucks. If I had money I would buy this property. It's so awesome. That's the back of the house. Let's walk around, I want to show you. That's the front. And basically you could live upstairs, have the bar downstairs. Actually there's light in there now. It was already closed last year when I was here. And I was like, oh, I hope they're open this year. But apparently they have been closed for a while. Awkward moment. There were actually two guys driving up in a pickup from the city of Dublin. And they turned on there. What do you call them? <laughs> Anyhow, I was walking there. I'm like, hey, I was just... Looking if there's a sign of the driving range is opening anytime soon or is it closed down forever and they're like oh, it's shut down and I'm like Brr. It's awesome. The guys were actually nice enough to tell me that there is another one on this street But this street is long. They didn't really tell me where it is. So I'm just driving up and down I might as well. I'm already here. And then I'm going home. Maybe I'm hitting some balls when I find it it's still open of course but so far I do not even know where it should be because there are a lot of houses and communities and 